Okay, here we have a polygon, number 16, and we're asked to find the sum of x and y. Well, there is a formula for the sum of the interior angles of a polygon. In this case, uh, n is equal to 6. So 4 times 180 is 720 degrees. So the sum of these six angles should be 720 degrees. If you forget the formula, don't worry. You can always find it another way. Just pick one vertex and start forming triangles from that one vertex. And we see that we have four triangles, each 180 degrees. So the sum of the angles have to be 720 degrees. Okay, so x plus y plus these other angles, 240 and 260 is 500, equals 720. So if we subtract the 500, the sum of x and y has to be 220. Okay, number 17. I chose to replace r with x on this problem. You may be more familiar with working problems with x. Um, so 9 to the power of x is equal to 27 to the power of x minus 1. Uh, we can evaluate uh, x. We can solve for x whenever the bases are the same. So let's write this as 3 squared to the power of x and 3 cubed to the power of x minus 1. Now we go with the power to power rule. So this is 3 to the 2x. And this is 3 to the 3 times quantity x minus 1 power. Now we see that the bases are the same, so that means the exponents are equal to each other. And so now it's just a matter of distributing and solving for x. So subtract the 3x. We find that x is equal to 3. So 3 is the correct answer. And you can use your calculator to check this. You can take 9 to the third power and then 27 to the second power and see if you get the same result. Okay, number 18, they give us this rule, this arrow, arrow, x, arrow, arrow. This means um, is the product of all the odd factors of 3 times x. So they give us 5. So 3 times, oops, 3 times 5 is 15. So we think of all the factors of 15. So 15, 5, 3, and 1. And so that's 225. So now we're asked to do 7. 3 times 7 is 21. So we're looking for all the factors of 21. So 21, 7, 3, and 1. And 21 times 7 times 3 times 1 is 21 squared, which is 441. Correct answer. Okay, that brings us to the end of Section 5, Practice Test 1. Next, we'll go to Section 8, Practice Test 1. That'll be the last math section of this first practice test.